it's not my contention and it can be nobody's contention that mistakes cannot be made. Okay? Either unwittingly or wittingly, meaning or to do overzealousness. Right? All I am saying is, you go to the next hire, if that person doesn't go, you go to the director. Okay? You have a problem with director also, uh, turns the deaf ear. Okay? And in cases in the past, in some instances in the past, not necessarily in IIT Madras, the, uh, but overall if you take, people have gone higher than that. Okay? That's the only way. Finally, you can't put it, guarantee in a system that mistakes only made. Okay? So, I'm just saying that this is not the only mistake that has been made or this is not the only mistake that will be made. Okay? Every mistake that is made by anybody, whether it's a faculty member, overzealous faculty member, or a faculty member is goofing off, or a um, uh, faculty advisor or a HOD, there have been issues with HOD. There is, or let me come to it, you are not, maybe there are not too many research scholars here or with a PhD supervisor, okay, or with a warden. That is the only way, right? Now, let me finish. It is not proper for me to discuss a particular individual or a particular official today in this kind of a public forum, but the correct approach. I mean, it is, it is not my case, it is not anybody's case, never been the case of, as far as I know, any uh, official that you cannot seek redressal. Okay? I am not, at all, I won't be, I am not saying that uh, people will not make mistakes, either because they believe that what they are doing is right, or because they have just been slogged. Okay? That's all I am saying. So, definitely this particular thing, with respect to this hostel or that hostel, please bring it up. Sir, uh, I want to... One conclude. One minute. I want to conclude a question. Yeah. So just keeping this as an example issue, example issue which will say reach you uh, say tomorrow or day after tomorrow yeah. after yeah. someone yeah. finds yeah. What would be the view on this which will be taken by the administration where someone is waking us up at 6 o'clock? Okay. Let, let me put it this way. So I, I just want to new, know how the process would work if it reaches you. See, Jen. So first of all, the typically what we do in these cases is even the director or a deputy director or a dean doesn't want to impose his or her own, own view on the matter. We usually have a consultation, okay? And usually in the past, from whatever I have seen, because I have been a dean for six years, any issues in which people have made their own rules, which are not the institute rule at the time, first thing that we do is we undo it, okay? Then we tell the concerned person. Even if students have made their own rules, you know, done something, we usually get the students to uh, to backtrack and they say, if you want to change this, right? I mean, to give an example, how suppose you do mass cutting to fight the attendance group. What can we do? Suppose entire class stays off for eight days in a row. Everybody is below 85%. What will I do? Right? I'm just so what will what will be the what will the institute? I'm just giving you that example to show you that we not always be officials who can nice. do something. First thing we'll do is you have to undo that. We will hold extra classes and we will set right that. Now you raise it. You say that this rule has become somebody should question this rule, right? And we have to revisit it and see whether it still makes sense. Let us go through the whole process again, bring it to the Senate, etc. etc. So similarly in this case, I come to you. First thing we'll do, if, a, if something has been made up by somebody, right, first thing we'll do is, because fundamentally if the rule doesn't exist, it's been made up by somebody, it cannot be made up by anybody. Then we'll tell that individual that you may be feeling strongly about it, so you bring it, you bring it to, I mean, every rule making here has a body and has a consultative process. In the case of hostel rules, it's not senate, it is whatever, your sack and finally it'll come to administration, you bring it through that. And if you can convince, and you know, that, this is the right thing to do, or right? we'll do it, we'll make it a rule, then it'll become okay. This is the usual thing that's done. I'm not specifically talking about this, this is what has been done in every case. That's the answer to your question. Okay? One minute. Ah, that person has been very, very docilely raising his hand. You, you. Significantly less. Yeah. This is some one strong view that comes yeah. in this and not necessarily my view. Yeah. 
That is one view expressed by a large number of people. Yeah. That you shouldn't be coming here and taking a seat if you don't want to attend the class. Yeah. So I mean, it's a reasonable number of classes. Just the classes at academics or, uh, Whatever, if you don't want to take it seriously. How much, what, what areas, avenues of our college life here is controlled by us and not by all the taxpayers of the country? Who decides that? Because obviously we can't have everybody there deciding. No, 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 only the academics. You have come here only to do a B.Tech or a dual degree or a... So whatever, we have some credit requirements, right? Yes, yes, you are supposed... We are discussing more than academics, right? Pardon? We are discussing more than academics. No, no, we are not controlling the rest. The other, the other part, the hostel rules has to do with making sure that we can run the hostel without violating the law. Exactly. That's all. Who has the say in all those matters? So, so we have a very clear structure. As far as academic matters, it's the Senate. As far as non-academic matters, running this place in a way in which we can maintain the law and maintain the, uh, the uh, what you might call roughly decorum, right? That is the administration. Okay? No, case, if you're asking me who makes, that's the way it is. In that case, why is the administration pressured by the views of the society? It's not pressure. I am, I, I am bound by the rule of law. Okay, in as much as I have taken responsibility for this place and call in the police only at my request, I am bound by the rule of law. That's all. I have to worry about the law. Right? I have to worry about the law on drinking. I have to worry about the law on uh, sexual harassment. I have to worry about the law on, uh, on uh, you know, political correctness as regard uh, casteism and any of these things. Which, whatever is the law, I have to worry about. Yeah. Uh, I, have to, I, I would like to bring the discussion back to the issue about uh, female security. So we'll come back to that. Now everything else is over, we'll come to that. No, easy go. Because I think that, I, that requires a full time, so I'll do that. Okay. So yeah, go, go. As you said, uh, I would like to know if your, the views that you expressed today, this is your individual view. No, it's not. Okay, so it's not, no, no, wait a minute. I, I didn't express my individual views at all today. Okay. I have very strong individual views. <laughs> okay. I didn't express it at all. All I said was, no, because I'll tell you, I don't impose them on anybody. Okay. All I, and I'm very careful after I became director. I was more Bindas before that because it didn't matter. Right? Now, the point I'm trying to make is nothing, no new rule has been made. As far as I know, except the rule about Sastra and Saran in the last three months. So, sir, so you said that you, I mean, it's in the interest of the institute that you want to increase the number of girls in the institute. No, we are working very hard on yeah. that. We are building I a new hostel. Yeah. We are. I totally agree with you. But what about the infrastructural requirements that uh, an increase in women population needs? As, in, as of now, uh, in a double room, the pressures are, three pressures are in a double room. Not just the pressures. Yeah. Not the so, I agree with you. Yeah. So I come here. Yeah. Uh, the other issue is that you are saying that the common taxpayer, so in the common man, the taxpayer is paying for our... Uh, yeah, 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 my salary also. Oh. Yeah. So, isn't it in this interest too that uh, if there is a security issue concerning women, shouldn't uh, his money go to ensuring that there is more security car rather than telling us that it's better that you walk with some other person Depend uh, walking group so that you don't get that. Oh. No. Good question. So let me first tell you that uh, the first part of the question, infrastructure, it is very clear that we are, you also can see very clearly, we are building the infrastructure. Okay. To say why are you not able to build it in time, I can go through the excuses. Finally, there are no excuses. Okay. So we are, you can say, okay, very sloppy administration, very sloppy people, they don't build the hostel, hostels in time. Fine. Right? Frank, I mean, frankly, I would say that. But finally, with some delay, that is what it is. It's not two people to a room, three people to a room. It's every single room. But though that's only the IITs, by and large, have that uh, that kind of, uh, what you might call, uh, uh, that, that kind of money being spent on students. Okay? Every hostel room today is costing 6 lakhs per seat. Okay? Even the government did not put, assign that much money to the hostel room and they set aside money for the capacity expansion. But we somehow manage. Okay, we somehow manage, right, to make sure we still get single rooms which are singly loaded. You know, it's very easy to reduce the cost by putting two rooms on either side of a corridor. Then you don't get pleased. All these issues are there. Anyway, I don't want to get into all that now. It's regarding the security part, so it is, if you say, why have we been sloppy, why are we right now being put in? Okay, Baba, maaf karo. We do what we can, right? We have so I can give you all the excuses, but finally they're excuses. Okay, we have the tender processes and this and that, so okay. But... Finally, it's even this hostel is going very slowly, okay? We thought we were going to get it done fast, but we are in so much trouble with the contractor for whatever reasons. Now, the other question, see, it's not as if we are not doing the security part, okay? 
they are now going to put in cameras because that helps as a deterrent. Okay, because if people are worried, you know, people who are do these things very often are cowardly. Okay, they are very worried about being caught on camera as being in that corridor and so on. Right? What now? Let me also tell you. I'll come to that. What security? Right? We had a discussion. I remember five years back we called one of these top guys who keeps appearing on TV. I don't want to name him. Big guy on security. Right? What do we do? He says, look, there are only two options. You have built a campus in one way in 1960s. All buildings are open everywhere. Okay, you have built it in a forest, right? You either do perimeter security, right? Perimeter security means what you go, what you see when you go to Indira Gandhi Center for uh, you know the atomic research or BEL or something. You control who enters, right? And you know exactly who's inside and who's outside, right? And then you know that if anything happens, it's one of the people inside, then you can okay. And you do it for every building, he said. In fact, he said particularly you do it for academic section and so on put lights, put search lights, and you get CISF people with guns. We can't give guns to our security. Okay, right? This is the only option. Otherwise, you can muddle along like this, I don't really have a solution for you. Because there's nothing you can do in this kind of building, this kind of open environment. This was after the terrorist attack in IISC also. Okay, we had this discussion. Now, I can throw more people. You think if I throw another 200 people in the security, that I can really feel that nothing can happen on campus. In this kind of 633 acres with trees everywhere and Right? Lonely spots. I can't be sure. All we are saying is we'll do that, we'll do all of that within the budgets available. After all, it's not as if people are, public is saying, if you're doing a good thing, I'll give you any amount of money. It's not like that. Okay? We'll do that. But all we were discussing was, should we give some, should we, not even, we should, should we give some of the women, may, do they want, find out, some of the women, do they want some other option? Let me tell you the profile, you also must be knowing the hostel, the typical profile of the woman or man, man, male student on campus is very diverse. You have all kinds of people. Maybe some of them want, we don't know. Right? That's all we say. Right? We're not saying that you turn all, let's save the last bit of power, let's turn all the lights off and let's make sure five people walk at a time. We're not saying that. Right? Okay? Now, even security. So what kind of quality security can we get? You all know what, right? What we are able to do. How much can we rely on them? Right? Now, let me also tell you what kind of training can we expect from them. You hire a fellow at 5,000 at 5, or 6,000 rupees, whatever it is, right? Even if you pay 10,000. He has his own views on the matter. Very often, the, the profile of society from which they come from, they have very strong views on these matters. Right? Which border on these people should not come out. Okay? Right? They should not dress like this. Let me tell you honestly. How are you going to change all of them? Their behavior, their, their willingness to. Uh, to come to assistance will depend on their views. They are not trained like the armed forces, where it doesn't matter. The training is so good that it doesn't matter what you think. Right? And even there, the armed forces achieve it only on one cause, against the enemy. They are never good at handling anything else. Okay? So, please understand, it's very easy to say, provide me the security. Right? I, we will try. The only thing you were saying was, should we consider it for some people if they want, other options where they can feel more secure. That's all we we're looking at as a proposal, okay? So what's the problem with perimeter security? What's the? What's the problem with perimeter? Oh, the perimeter. I'll tell you, perimeter security in this campus. See, we let me tell you. Even for things like theft, they are having great difficulty. We live in a, you know, there are people who live just outside our campus, right? Who don't understand what's it with these people that they get such, so much money thrown into the system. They live in such luxury. Okay, with so much power, with so much water. Okay, there are people who live on our boundary. There are people who live on our boundary who have built their house using our compound wall as one of the walls. The stronger we build it, the higher they build their house because it supports. <laughs> right? They jump over, they throw the garbage on this side, they come inside to do all their unwanted things. They beat up our security. Okay, they are supported by the uh, councillors in that area. Okay? I don't even, I say, I'm telling you, learn to sympathize. You just put yourself in that per seat. No power, no water, right? No land, government waiting to throw you out because they can show that you illegally occupied it, whatever. And somehow inside this place, always every year the budget goes on increasing, right? They have parties, they have this, they have that, you know, the roads become better, their roads never crack up, you know, they don't have power cut. In fact, tell me, tell me I'll tell you one thing, it's very important for us to have a power cut. Okay, at least visible to our neighbors. At least visibly 
that we share to some extent the kind of difficulty that the ordinary people in Vellacheri and Kanagam they go through. It's very important. We cannot live like this. You know, we have no water shortage. We don't queue up for water. Okay? The same Pallipat water source from which we get our water, they get their water. And they know. So we gave, we gave one acre in the land there when the government asked us to build a bigger sum. Why? There was opposition saying, where should we give our land? Right? If you don't play this game, one day they will turn on you. Because we are, we are living literally like a small mini, I wouldn't say America, but a developed... <laughs> In so these poor people who can't grow or eat these women on the roads can come into our campus and do that? Please, let me tell you. I'm just saying that... No, no, I'm just saying that compound wall is cannot be made 100% secure. It's not possible. They break... No, let me finish. They will it. They break it. They will come over. There are people coming in legitimately also. There are people coming here to make sales. There are people coming here to sell goods, to come and give goods. After all, if you want to eat, 8,000 people have to eat in a hostel. Goods have to come in. This is a society. This is not a military installation. Okay. So, I have to assume that no matter what security I put, that there will be some failure. And therefore, I was saying, in addition to improving security, I have to think of, ask whether some people may want some additional protection if they choose to. Right? Additional sense of that's all we were talking about. Nobody is saying we won't do what we can do. But can you do 100%? Can you guarantee that, you know, just like they can't guarantee in a city. This is quite a big place. This is not a small building. Okay, if you are telling me, can you guarantee nobody enters Saravati, I can. Pardon? Yeah, I'll come to that. So, uh, we'll come to the, to that issue. No, I think it's enough. We'll come, because 9.30, let's discuss that, and then, then we'll come back to other small things, okay? No, no, please. So, there was only, as far as I know, we can, maybe there were other things discussed in that meeting with, uh, with women. We can ask Ganesh if he knows about it. If you have any other issues that you want to ask the director about how rules are made, no. how should policies no, are done? No, no, no. Okay. 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 Listen, listen, listen. You can mail it to me. Yeah, no problem. Okay. I can even come back another day. After all, all those and no we'll get all the queries answered. I live on campus and my 24 hours is dedicated to campus. This is only for the next five years. So, don't worry about it. Okay, so, the, as far as I know, the only thing I remember discussing in the dean's meeting was, I said, we, we, you know, just looking at the numbers of these cases is increasing. Let's find out if a reasonable number of the uh, women student may want the option of a escort service and if so, in what form, who will be the escort, let's start to talk about it, let's find out what is feasible, if anything is feasible at all. We ourselves ruled out that it can't be an escort provided by our security. That's not a model that will work in this case. We also knew that the model of the American, you know, where you just put up a service where people can earn money by uh, students can earn, that won't work. We will have to find out whether anything is feasible at all, whether it is wanted at all. This was the only proposal which triggered that meeting. Now, other things we have been discussed. After all, see, when we, it's all, you know, we get it all done by faculty, we get it done by students, people have new ideas, they may have discussed it. I am open to discussing what other ideas were discussed there, I am not aware of it. Okay? This was the trigger that came, no decision has been made. If no sound, reasonably sound idea comes, we won't even do it. Or if nobody wants it, we won't even do it. Right? This is all that was discussed. Do you know it? Yeah, it's stated. Do you know it? It's stated. Yeah, one of the things that was discussed was this paid escort system. What is that? Uh, what? Paid, safety code? Paid escort system. Paid escort. Paid escort. Yeah, the second system was the 2,000 new cameras that are going to be installed. Oh, that's not for the hostels. Not for the Saravati hostels. No, no, I'm not talking about the hostels. I'm just saying it's not cameras. Not 2,000, by the way. I don't even know whether they can afford 2,000, but some cameras. Okay. Uh, the third thing was the declaration of safety, uh, which the and, and, what, and what is that? This is a declaration saying that uh, anyone who is in Sharavati or Sariu or Sariu extension will sign this declaration saying that if they go out after 11 p.m., it becomes their responsibility. Uh, and if there is any legitimate reason to be going out after 11, you need a letter from your department saying you're out for research or you're out for academic purposes. Okay. So, she, the, 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 the Saravati or Sarayu Hostel uh, uh, Warden proposed this for discussion. Yeah. Okay, maybe. And also we know and uh, we know there will also be increased the number of uh, plain clothes security guards. Plain clothes? You don't have any. We have plain clothes security guards? Who? 
Oh, you do. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, are you sharing even in uniform? Like you said, each security guard, each security guard has an individual agenda. They are all just human beings at the end of the day. They have different views. Now, what is preventing them from acting in a way that is irresponsible? What is preventing them from posing as normal people? Or what is preventing the uh, people from posing as security guards? So that is our problem with that. Also, there was a talk about uh, biometric system at hostels, things like that. And as a couple of comments were made which we found discriminatory. We're, not, we're taking outrage simply because they were discriminatory. One was that girls are physically vulnerable and therefore we are different and must be... Somebody might have said that very commonly made by many people. I said that. Yes. Yeah, okay, fine. No, no, it doesn't matter who said it. It's okay. issues are discussed, people express their views, you can always dissect, analyze, okay, you'll find something should not have been said, something should have been said and so on and so forth. So I, that's okay, I can also go into that, let me uh, finish. Uh, that's not the intention. What I want to tell you is that the, um, the issue of cameras, okay, now that has nothing to do with the problem with uh, sexual harassment, primarily, okay? The primary motivation for that came from the enormous number of blatant thefts that are happening in the departments, okay? Where locks are being broken and projectors are being taken away, okay? One example, let me finish. One example, right? I am, yeah. No, it's okay. My laptop was stolen from my roommate's room and we, someone went to the place and asked for a tape. Firstly, the response was the camera was not working. Yeah. That was the kind of response we got and it was of no use. Yeah. So I'll tell you, so we will have those problems also. You know this is an institution running uh, by... Uh, uh, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. I mean, this is not the 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 problems of uh, the problems of uh, things either not working or not made to work. This is not of in, in institutions which are public institutions is not unknown to you. I'm not making any big revelation to you. All this will happen. Okay. So when I when we put in cameras, also not as if we think that it's going to be this wonderful right Pentagon type of thing. It's not that. Okay. We will try to do something which will make it work. We'll try to do what we can. We'll also learn the hard the slow way. For example. We struggled a lot to um, uh, figure out a way which we have by and large figured out now by which our toilets have taps, right? Whereas, I tell you, 15 years ago, if you had if you had water, there was no tap, so you had to shut it off, or if you had taps, there was no water. Okay, this was the situation in most of the ta toilets in the department. Because we just didn't even know how to get this to happen in the in a public institution setup. The same plumbers who came and install, come and install the taps would come back in the evening and take it away. Okay, this was our situation. So, we will deal with this. The, the motivation for this, uh, this because such a large number of theft, you know, we have to also account for these things. We have, there is a, so we have to put in. And also we felt that the departments also very big buildings, they're open buildings. We can't change the nature of the buildings now. Most buildings, if you look at it, which are built from a security point of view, have, apart from fire exits, they have only one controlled exit, a controlled entry, okay? It's very easy to control security of who goes in, who comes out, I'll come to it. So that's why we decided to put it. If it now turns out that somebody is walking in a department, because most of these cameras will be in departments, not on the roads. In this darkness, you can't capture anything. If somebody is uh, walking along a department now and there's well-lit corridor, the camera might give an additional, to some extent, an additional degree of, at least cowards may feel a little scared, to that extent may do something in the context of the 
possible potential for reducing sexual harassment but not more than that okay that was the intention of the camera system and we need lots of it because it's a big campus that's about it so the camera proposal is totally unrelated to this regarding all the others let me finish what she asked she said you only made what happened in the meeting you asked me to respond i'm not finished right you'll come back to you now the other things that were discussed the uh, this 11 o'clock uh, what is that uh, declaration and so on i have not heard about it again as i said if it comes up i i mean if i have not understood it fully after your feedback is taken if it comes up at all we'll discuss it from prime of ac from what you told me i see a lot of problems with that okay but we'll discuss it many such ideas if you ask your people who attend senate you can see how many ideas get discussed some of which sound crazy even in the beginning pardon you can but actually it doesn't matter even if it was his view please what i'm saying doesn't matter is it doesn't become a rule because it's his view that's all i'm trying to say all of us please let me finish please let me finish there are no, no decision has taken by an individual we all consult each other i am on i am openly telling you there are views that i have which i discussed with my deans where i change my view after hearing their view point his view may become they may change after hearing our view point that's all i'm saying no discussion has taken place is all i'm telling you we can hear him where is the speaker on this matter pardon i just want to clear on this matter if you insistently strike the distinction between individual view and the institution yes let me let me tell you that the institution is not neutral the administration is not neutral so if you it's an intellectual cop up to say that you know the administration does not have Uh, so no, administration I know it doesn't have a view. I said administration will have a view on making a rule, not a, there's no administration view on what is right and wrong. That's all I said. We haven't we haven't discussed this at all in the administration. I'm telling you the truth. We have not discussed these issues at all. The only thing we said is find out whether whether there is a way to provide optional escort service and whether it's wanted and there's a way. That's all we the administration has even initiated. So what is the reality that we just want actually happen? What won't actually happen? No, no, I am telling you that any rules that come into place will be after discussion. That's all I am trying to tell you. Nothing. Pardon? Sir, we want it. So we want. If if you don't want it, let me put it. If you don't want a proposal, which uh, we, if you don't want a proposal that was made if by somebody with an idea to help you, it won't be done. On the other hand, I can't tell you that every proposal that students veto will not be done. No, no. I'm just telling you because that's not the way any place is run. I can't tell you that unless students agree, no, no, no view will be taken. I'm saying nothing will be done without consultation. Nothing has been done without consultation in the past. Individual may do. We'll backtrack on it. Mistakes will be corrected. That's all I'm saying. But no, no decision is made. No rule is made without consultation. Where is it made? Even this is out of consultation. You are now, you are all reacting because you are all asked. No, no decision was taken by six people sitting. No, no. This whole. this whole thing the suggestions that were discussed in that meeting one minute the suggestions that were discussed in that meeting by some she said na some sari or some hostel warden please let me finish you can only go one at a time she said just said na some warden made a suggestion it was a coordination with professor ganesh and they agreed that this would happen we were never asked we were never asked whether they said that there was a scope for us to change it but it seems I, I can tell you that that's not the way it's done. We, the, no, no rules are made without first taking the views of all the stakeholders and then discussing it. And if we find, if we uh, and finally, when a decision is made, we can't say everybody. We can't say all decisions are made by 100% consensus. But we'll explain the position. So that's all. What? No. It's always that's always the way all rules have been made. This is true. Sir, Up to now. Okay. Sir. Sir, Sir, as far as I know, individual views do not matter unless individuals are in power. No, 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 no. Individual views matter. 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 Individ